Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. In this video, we're gonna be, in this video, we're gonna be discussing, discussing why you should, no, no, no. We're gonna be discussing three reasons why you should ride a scooter. And if you're feeling unmotivated, why you should continue to ride a scooter. Even throughout my retirement, I've still continued to ride my scooter, even though I'm not professional anymore. And there's a couple of reasons why. Let's get into it. But guys, before we get into it, please, please hammer away at that like button. Subscribe to my channel, guys. Share my videos. In 2023, we're aiming for 10K subs. I'm really trying to grow this YouTube channel, dude. I wanna grow it so I can give informative content like this. I'm obviously gonna get better at these videos as we go, trying to make them short and sweet, easy for you guys to digest with lots of tutorials and stuff. If you like these kind of videos, let me know down below. Um, and if you have any video ideas or anything that you guys need help with, please comment down below, reach out to me personally. I really want to like make this YouTube channel about you guys. I am no longer a professional writer, so I want to give all of my knowledge to you guys, all right? Enjoy the video. Okay, guys, reason number one why you should continue to ride a scooter, even if you're feeling unmotivated, is of course for fitness reasons. Now, guys, even though I'm retired, like I said, I still ride my scooter for fitness reasons. It's a great way to keep fit and healthy, dude. It's really good for you, whether you're an adult, a kid, whatever age you are, it's a really good sport to keep you nice and healthy. Along with some good food, scooter riding can be an excellent source of exercise. If not, one of the best I've, I've actually done, to be honest. Like, I do a lot, I do a bit of boxing. Uh, I used to run. I do a bit of gym, my God, I do a lot. And uh, scooter riding by far was the one that helped my cardiovascular fitness the most. So yeah, it'll keep you looking young guys, honestly. So if you're 15, keep scooter riding up to your 25. You probably won't look as good as me, but you'll be like, nah, I'm just kidding. You'll look much better than me. I got wrinkles on my forehead, dude. You can't see them, I'm covering it up with my hat. But yeah, that's reason number one why you should continue to ride your scooter. Or if you're not riding a scooter, get into scootering. Share this video so we can get some more people into the skate parks, guys. It's an excellent way for exercise. All oh, righty, reason number two why you should keep riding scooters, dude. And if you're not riding scooters, why you should get into it. And that is, I just have to express how actually important this reason is in why you should continue to ride scooters. And that is making friendships, guys. Mm -hmm. I will tell you right now that my biggest friendships in life are from scootering. And that is 100% true. Okay, like 100% true. I've got friends for over 10 years that I met through scooter riding. One of them's Maddie C, you know me and Maddie C are best friends. We met when we were little kids, dude. So yeah, scooter riding is the best way to make lifelong friends and you can stay connected and it's really good up into adulthood. Like guys, I'm 28 years old and I still get out and ride my scooter with my friends. So it's a great way to make friends and hold on to friends as well. I could not stress how valuable that is and how like important that is for scooter riding. And I think a lot of kids might look over that. So if you're young, 12 to 15, and you're scooter riding, make some friends. You're gonna, you, you will automatically make friends at the skate park by riding scooters. If you, if you wanna start riding scooters, go down to the skate park and you will automatically make friends. The scootering scene is amazing when it comes to connecting people together, all right? So yeah, reason number two is making friends. Alrighty guys, and reason number three is that it builds mental and physical toughness. What do I mean by that? All right, so even when I was riding scooters as a kid, as I was learning, I fell down a lot of times. I broke my arm, I broke my ankles a couple of times broken a few fingers, a collarbone. I smashed myself up a little bit, right? Now, I'm not saying that that's the ideal situation. It's not, I got unlucky. But it does help you build a bit of resilience and mental and physical toughness outside in the world, right? It gave me plenty of confidence um, in my day-to-day -day life as I grew up, um, just from the sheer fact that I would go to the skate park and send it. I wasn't afraid to fall on my butt on the concrete. So I knew damn well that, you know, smashing myself on a concrete floor was gonna hurt a lot more than getting rejected outside in society, right? So it builds this kind of confidence and mental toughness like nothing else. Like actually, like fighting does that as well. Like it builds the same kind of mental toughness as fighting does as well. Um, but you will gain a lot of confidence outside of scooter riding by riding scooters, especially if you progress really well and actually take it seriously and enter some competitions, it'll build your mental toughness and, and like mental confidence 
a lot, let alone what it does for you physically. Like I said, like fitness wise, it really helps, but you know, it helps with muscle development, um, fitness, and just overall like athletic abilities. All right guys, that's gonna conclude today's video. I hope you got some value out of this. If you want any more videos like this, as I said, please drop a comment down below. Go follow me on TikTok guys. I've been active over there doing lots of giveaways and tutorial videos. So I'm sure a lot of you guys on TikToks as well. Keep a lookout for my shorts. Um, I'm gonna be putting up tutorial short videos and some banging clips as well along the way. So I'm aiming to upload like three to four times a week. Uh, for main videos and have a short up like maybe every day. Um, so if you're enjoying the content, let me know. And if you really want a coaching session with me, head over to my website, guys. I'm really trying to grow my business. Uh, I know my coaching is valuable. I've coached over 300 kids in the past and I'm just relaunching it with some brand new programs. So stay tuned for the new programs. They're really gonna help you out. It's gonna be the most affordable coaching on the market and the best coaching on the market by far. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching as always and I'll see you guys in the next video.